Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360. I'm Ed Robledo from the Fusion 360 family with a quick tutorial regarding making your manufacturing files using Fusion 360. Creating your manufacturing file is relatively simple with Fusion 360. Still, I want to give you some steps that you could follow to make sure you generate your files correctly. Many manufacturers provide an Eagle DRC file that could be loaded and used in Fusion 360. The DRC file has the preferred clearances, layer stack up, distances, and many more of the parameters preferred by the manufacturer. Try to follow their guidelines since it helps to get your boards made faster. From the layers tab, I recommend that you look at your layer stack up and via depth stack up. That way you have an idea of what to expect. Fusion 360 does have a real time design rule checker. While working on your design, Fusion 360 is continuously checking your DRC violations. Well, after running DRC check, take a look at the error list. As you select them, you'll notice that you get a box around the area of concern. If this is acceptable, you can simply approve. If not, then make the changes. Changes could consist of moving components, traces, or vias. I strongly recommend that you enable the push and shove violator when making changes to the board. This will ensure that your preferences are adopted as traces and vias are pushed and shoved. The CAM preview will provide you with a realistic 2D look of the completed board. You'll be able to appreciate the top and bottom size of the board. I like to highlight that from the board tab, you'll be able to review your design statistics, such as component count per layer, layer stack up, how many holes, and much more that helps the board house provide you an accurate quote. You'll notice that from the Manufacturer tab, you also have the option to export an ODB++ file. This is one of the most common data exchange formats used in designing and manufacturing electronic circuit boards. After selecting the manufacturer's preferred file compression, it will generate the files and be ready to be sent to your board house. I like to refer to this option as the one click option because it will automatically load your cam job template based on your design rule layer stack up, which we saw earlier. The list of files that appear in the dialog box pertains to your Gerber files, your drill files, and your assembly text files consisting of the pick and place and your bill of material. This option is excellent if you've been using the standard layer structure. This means you didn't create or intentionally use a layer with information that needs to be stacked outside of the classic layer format. I'll make this clear in our next section. I left it for last because the CAM processor is possibly the most flexible way of generating your manufacturing files. You see, the CAM processor output is divided into five primary sections, and each section consists of multiple subsections. As you noticed earlier on the one-click solution, the manufacturing files is actually a collection of files pertaining to the appropriate layer combination. The amount of files you'll send to your manufacturer is going to be directly related to your layer stack up. You could add layers to the selected subsections by using the layer option. For my example, I'm going to be adding the TDOC layer to my silt screen stack up because it's the layer I use for the company logo. Once you've completed the CAM job setup, select to process the job. All of the files will be located in the directory you have indicated ready to be emailed or upload it to your manufacturers. Thank you for joining us. All this and more 
with Fusion 360.